Hello, Dragon Let's on the Air and a Dragon Pony One here. And today I am venting. Now you may be wondering, with that warning at the very beginning of the video, what on earth I'm venting about. And also, you probably have questions about the thumbnail. Well, actually, this is something I've been wanting to vent about for a very long time. And the thing I want to vent about is expectations that women have. And this really irks me a lot. Number one, I have a very good excuse to do this because, well, Mark has actually suggested this, and you may be wondering, but Dragon, you said the speed pace were closed. That is correct. There are no more coming. However, he posted that request 11 hours before I made that, so it's still valid. Any and all speed paints made are still valid. Now you may be wondering, what is this abomination here? Well, I did some research about what's sexy, what is expected of women, typically women, and I got a lot of results, and this is just a conglomeration of those results. Now you may be wondering, why is she looking like a cat? Don't get any ideas. The reason why she looks like a cat is because a song was made by Verita called Cheshire Smile, and the song is basically about um, you're hurting inside, you're broken, but you put on a fake smile, kind of like the Cheshire Cat. You put on a big smile, but you're really faking it. And that's kind of what this drawing is all about. The reason why she has ears, a, a humongous smile, a cat stripes, and a cat tail is because it's kind of reflecting that song. And the thing that really annoys me about society today is the expectations they put on both genders. Male and female, they both have this problem, but especially when women are expected to have these sexy clothing, this wavy sexy hair, makeup on, eyeliner on the wazoo, blush, a lipstick, you know, cleavage, lots of leg, you know, stuff like that. And it really, really annoys me out of the oh, porcelain white skin. And it really annoys me out of the wazoo. Because not everybody is like that. Not everybody likes that kind of style. Not everybody should be put to those sort of standards. That's just as bad as trying to push your kids to have good grades when you, when you know that their best, all-time best, is a C. And you keep pressuring them about it. It's just as bad, and that's why she looks like the Joker. Now, this is an image of someone who is trying desperately to meet the standards women have, but are clearly breaking at the seams. Like, she's trying so desperately for acceptance that she's trying to meet all the expectations that's literally causing her to crack and tear apart, which is why she looked so insane. And I hate it, because so many women are so insecure, and so they try to fill in that hole, that insecureness, by trying to meet expectations. But what it's really doing is it's causing more insecurities. And that's not good, y'all. That shouldn't be happening. So the first picture is clearly someone trying to meet women's expectations, or any expectations, really. But it's clearly bursting at the seams, trying so hard to meet all those expectations that she's literally cracking. And a lot of women feel that way. Now the second picture is when somebody actually tries to break stereotypes, unless you actually like some of the stereotypes, I mean, that's fine, you, you do you, but actually tries to beat themselves and not really care what anybody else thinks and not try so hard to meet expectations. Basically, being yourself and let the inner you shine and show your inner strength. Because if you're trying to pretend to be someone else that you're not, you are throwing on a smile, a fake smile, and that's not really who you are. You're basically masking yourself and saying, this is who I am, which is not just to get acceptance. And that's why so many women try to meet expectations for acceptance. And I think women so fear to be rejected that they would do anything to be accepted. And a lot of people think they need a man in their life in order to be successful, which is one of the reasons why they want to meet all these expectations so bad so they can get a man so they can say look at this i succeeded or to for someone to compliment on them because if it wasn't such a big deal to try to meet all these expectations for women then there would be so much more other people that weren't trying to meet the beauty standards of women i mean i get styles i get that kind of thing but when the main purpose of doing it is because everybody else is doing it then what what you're basically saying, and you're not realizing is, I want to fit in, I don't want to be unique, because I don't want people to make fun of me, I want to be with the cool kids, I want to be accepted, is basically what you're saying. Now again, if you is streaking in front of the street, please put on clothes, but you shouldn't try to meet beauty standards 
or women's standards just to fit in, just to be accepted, just even to get a man. Because if a man really loves you, he will love what's beneath that makeup. He will love the person that is beneath all that sexy clothing and cur curled up hair and makeup and eyeliner and lipstick. He should love you for who you really are, not who you're trying to be. Now, I'm not saying people who actually enjoy that stuff, who actually enjoy putting on makeup, makes them feel like a woman, you know, then that is being you. That is you being yourself, if you actually enjoy that. But if you're doing it just because everybody else is doing it, or you're expected to do it, then that's you trying to meet expectations, which coming from personal experience can really tear you apart, can really... It can cause anxiety, it can cause depression, it can cause you to go insane, maybe even. The wealthiest people in the world, the celebrities, everybody that's that's meeting beauty and women expectations and success expectations according, according to the world, most of them are the most unhappy people in the world because they feel so broken and empty and they're calling it any sort of acceptance they can to feel that vo fill that void inside and we all have that void and we all have that voice in our head that says you are not enough you need to do this in order to be enough you need to do this in order to be enough you need to be like this you need to meet up to these standards whether you're male or female, you need to meet up to these standards in order to be accepted, in order to be seen as manly or womanly. You need to meet up to these standards. And I don't, I don't personally like that. I, I really don't. Because again, coming from my own personal experience, when you're trying so desperately to please someone, whether that be anybody in particular or a certain person, it can cause you to go insane because you're trying to keep on your, all your chicks in a row. You're trying to make sure nothing goes out of line, that you're meeting expectations. But the thing is, if you're trying so desperately to do it, there is only so much time until you crack, until you go insane. And that's what the first picture represented. Somebody who's so desperately trying to meet expectations that she is starting to crack under the pressure. The second picture, I used myself for this, by the way, because because I have gone through this myself of trying to meet expectations. Not necessarily beauty standards or women expectations, just expectations of people. So I, I feel you 100%. And I want you to know that everybody is there. And when people are in that situation, they feel weak. They feel broken. And the thing is, when you're in that hole, as I said before, you feel weak. It isn't until you realize that being yourself is the best thing in the world, you won't realize how strong you actually are. Because every single person is made uniquely. Every single person is made to have their own style, their own preferences, their own likes and dislikes. And so you should reflect that in any way that you would like, whether it be your art, your um, makeup if you're into that, your style choices. Again, if you happen to like women's stereotypes, like if you dress up in it and you really like it, not because you're trying to impress anybody, but you like it because you like how it feels or you like how it looks on you, then that's perfectly fine. That's you being you. When you are yourself and you don't care about what anybody else thinks, it is the most, it is the most freeing, relieving feeling in the world. It's like a huge weight has been dropped because you're not letting the imaginary audience define who you are. You're not letting society or um, stereotypes define who you are. You are dressing how you like. And that is the best thing that you could ever do. I've experienced that at least a couple of times in my life and it is the best feeling in the world. Now again, as I said before, don't go streaking in mainstream and say, this is who I am. I mean, have some standards, please. But real talk here, being yourself is really the best thing that you could ever do. And you need to learn that young, to not be swayed by what other people think of you. And I don't mean right and wrong things like murder and stuff like that. I mean simple things like beauty standards. When you show and f figure out who you truly are, you will find out how strong you actually are. Because the strongest person in the world will fall several times, but they will get back up and they will keep walking no matter how how awful this world may be. So yeah, that was my little vent. And I hope you enjoyed me rambling. I thought that if I just put music, 
or something, you would not know the full context of this, these drawings. You would think it was just be some weird, creepy drawing that I was making, but no, I was making it for a purpose. And I hope you all have a marvelous day. Goodbye.